International holiday food traditions are as creative and unique as the holidays themselves. Indian butter chicken is one of the most heartwarming dishes I've ever had. This dish is so heartwarming, you will just fall in love with it. The thing that makes it so great is all of the elevated flavors with the spices. They're truly incredible. Before I mix the spice, I just want to very quickly heat up some butter. Traditionally use ghee or a clarified butter. I like to use just straight butter. First of all, it's something you probably have in the house already, but there are layers of flavor that are removed in ghee that I love to have here in the butter. So on the stove, this goes. I'm gonna bring that up to temperature, and while I do, I'm gonna to throw together some fresh spices. So I'm gonna take one cinnamon stick, and it goes. Great thing is with a spice grinder is you can really take big, powerful flavors. You can take whole seeds, nuts, and berries, and you can pack them in, and in just a push of a button, literally, have an incredible flavor base. As that comes together, I also have a garam marsala, and that's perfectly ground, completely and totally fragrant, with my butter nicely melted. And I've got that beautiful nutty flavor that comes from brown butter developed. Sit that down. These chicken pieces can go in, and you can marinate this ahead of time, but like many times when you're at home, you don't have a lot of time. So this is a dish that can be prepared very quickly and you get many of the same flavors. If you have a chance to marinate it ahead of time, you can bring all these flavors together, put the chicken in the marinade, and then saute. It's really important when sauteing right now that you don't crowd the pan. Season the chicken now with some salt and a little bit of pepper and saute it until it's golden brown, turning it until all the chicken is cooked cook it in batches, and then we'll remove it and get started with the flavor base. With all the chicken nicely sauteed and browned, and it's really important to brown it so that you get that flavor development first on the chicken before adding in all of the uh, flavor base. So just pull that out, leave the little bit of fat that's left inside, and now I'll add some onions. I've got some jalapeno peppers some ginger, lots of heat, chopped garlic, it smells incredible already. Now a quick season with salt and pepper and back to the stove to saute. These veg are sauteed nicely. I love the high size of this cast light cookware. Now it's time for the spices to go in. So I'm going to put some of my mixed spice in, some of that beautiful coriander. It's important to do it at this stage so the spices become toasted, they become fragrant, and they, it really brings them to life. Then some of the garam marsala, beautiful. And just a, another toss there, and you can smell it, it's, it, that heat is radiating. That's a nice thing about this cast light, cast iron combination cookware, is it holds the heat and continues to radiate. Let's deglaze with some chicken stock. And you can see even off the stove, I'm able to deglaze. Mix that up a little bit. Now, the chicken goes back in with all those beautiful juices. Gorgeous. I'm gonna put that back on the stove with the coconut milk. Look at that. It's just beautiful. This combination of flavors, it's just honestly, there's nothing like it. Give it a good stir. Mix that up, I'll put it back on the stove, and when it's tender, about another 10 to 15 minutes, I'll finish it up. Look at this. Isn't that beautiful? I'm gonna finish by just pulling some of these coriander leaves. I like to leave the leaves whole, just like that. Just pulling to finish. Some cashews. I'm just gonna turn that over once just to activate all that flavor from the coriander, fresh cilantro. Now I have to have a taste. Oh, it's hot. Mmm. Mmm. That is a perfect 
Indian butter chicken.